Breaking new details tonight in that deadly Beaver Creek shooting. He shot like 10 times and I don't even know how much more afterwards, but I just know I'm so lucky to be alive. He literally walked right past me. We now know four people are recovering in the hospital after a gunman started shooting people inside of a Walmart in Beaver Creek, just east of Dayton. The shooting happened around 8.30 last night, and tonight we're learning the gunman was just 20 years old. Police say the gunman took his own life when officers got to the store. Tintibee's Doug Petcash spoke to police in Beaver Creek today. He has a look at police body camera video released hours ago. We must warn you that some of the video may be disturbing to watch. Police identified the shooter as 20 year old Benjamin Charles Jones of Dayton. They are investigating his background, but didn't release any other information today. They say the victims are three women and one man. Three of them are in stable condition at this hour, while one is in critical but stable. Today, police also released the body cam video of the first responding officer. Where's he at? What's he look like? In the body cam video, you see the officer making his way through the store. You hear one shot. Police believe that's the suspect shooting and killing himself. The officer peers around the corner of the vision center and finds him. He got him. Police say neither this officer nor any others on scene fired their guns. It all started when police say the shooter went into the Walmart on Pentagon Boulevard with a rifle and started shooting, wounding the four victims, whom police say were all shoppers. A witness inside the store describes what he heard and saw. That shooter stopped in front of the aisle that we were hiding behind and he rung out another five or six shots with his rifle. And as soon as he stopped, I told her, go, 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 go. And I, I pushed her all the way up to the family restrooms where one of the associates was already back there trying to help basically direct everybody. The first 911 call came in at 8.36 p.m. Officers were dispatched within one minute, and the first two officers arrived on scene at 8.39 p.m. The first officer found the suspect dead three minutes later at 8.42 p.m. Mayor Bob Stone sent his thoughts and prayers to the victims and their families and added, And in the face of adversity, the strength of our community shines through. As for the motive, the FBI says they are looking into Jones's background, connection, and motivation. In Beaver Creek, Doug Petcash, 10 TV News. A short time ago, we spoke with the representative who represents the Beaver Creek community. Representative Brian Lampton told us that his thoughts are with the victims, witnesses, and families as they recover. He also praised a quick response from law enforcement and medics. It still just impresses me, those folks that take on those jobs to run into the danger to help others. You know, they they were they were there within a minute, I heard from the first 911 call. And, uh, you know, obviously we're able to clear the building and, and, you know, get folks to safety. Representative Lampton added that he believes Beaver Creek is a safe community made safer by the consistent training of law enforcement to respond to tragedies like this one. To watch the full half hour press conference, head to 10TV and 10TV, our 10TV app. It's free in the app store. Just search for 10TV.